Hey there everyone, this is MarkyMan64 here welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play LEGO Jurassic World on the PS4. This is episode number 6. So in the last episode we started The Lost World subtitle Jurassic Park, which I've, I've never really understood. Um, I know that the, the book didn't have the subtitle, but they wanted to solve confusion, like talk about the fact that it was a, a sequel, and saying that it was the Jurassic Park. I don't remember what we need to do here, but I'm guessing that it's somebody is going to need to do something. Is she able to? Yes, okay, so she's able to examine Poo as well. Um, I don't think, does she do it in the, the movie? Or does she talk about Poo? A few characters talk about Poo within the, the franchise. Uh, she may well be one of them. So anyway, we are continuing with the story and here's a dinosaur fact from Mr. DNA. And we're going to continue with the story. This is as good a place as any for base camp. This is a game trail, Mr. Ludlow. If you want me to run your little camping trip, I'm in charge. Okay. Okay! Dieter, get into the outrigger. You're closing in on her. The one with the big red horn, the Pompadour. Put in Jen is seeking limited <laughs> partners to defray talk. some of our expansion costs. You don't bring people halfway around the world to visit a zoo. You bring the zoo to them. Mr. Hammond knew this before he ever dreamt of an island. He began construction on an amphitheater. San Diego is the perfect site. It could be completed and ready to receive visitors in less than a month. Uh, I think I should tell you guys. Hammond told me these people might show up. He did send a backup plan. What backup plan? Me. So this is Camp Sabotage. And so, we are going to go in as Nick and Sarah into the camp of the the other team that Ingen has sent. My depth perception is terrible. Let's see. I think I think we actually fight them. Is this like the first time that we've we've fought other humans? I can't remember. Yeah, we are, we do. Yes. Yes, this is the the first time that we've fought other humans. But Nick does seem quite quite intimidating in the in the story. <laughs> Friar talk. <laughs> it's funny that uh, uh, what's his name? The Roland uh, doesn't. Yeah, let's be her. Um, doesn't know the names of the dinosaurs. Like he has like a fact sheet, and he tries to read it and. Like he's like no, <laughs> I don't I don't know how to how to say these names. Okay, so again she has examined something, and we can tell what what she needs to find for to to wake up the dinosaur or to to heal the dinosaur. Um, and as with Lego um Lego City Undercover. There's, there's no way to, um, like, the computer doesn't kill somebody, like, uh, i.e. make them disappear in this case. Um, it needs to be you, so you need to switch to a character and they need to fight the person. So, let's get these guys. 
fighting people was is so much easier. But again, she was fighting him for a while, but he didn't go down until I came over. And vice versa, like if it was if I was playing as Sarah, um then then Nick couldn't couldn't fight fight them down. Okay, so I need to find those those foodstuffs. A mushroom, an ice cream and a, a banana. It's a uh, dinosaur has good taste. <laughs> or certainly eclectic eclectic tastes. So let's dive in here. I'm imagining there's going to be one of the, the three in this. Yes, ice cream. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> okay. Feed it to the dinosaur. Because they don't make a big deal of the, the names of the different dinosaurs in, in this movie, I can't remember what, what the name of that dinosaur is. We need to get rid of these guys. And see they're they're giving hearts to us, so we can get hearts from them. Sorry, it was the last episode I was talking about that. But the fact that in that episode, like I, I kept just dying in the, the Stegosaurus level and I said like there's not really anywhere that's giving hearts in this level, but there is in this one. So can he feed it to the dinosaur? I'm guessing, yeah. So if he comes over here... Okay, so it's a mushroom. Mushroom is left. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to be waking him up. What what is that up there? And how do I get up there? Is there any way for me to get up there? I don't think so, because I think I need a, a character to do that electricity thing. But like it will be in this section because there's the uh, wall that I it needs to get through when I need to use the. Uh, the dinosaur to get through. Is there anything that I'm needing this for? Was I able to break that without using the vehicle? I don't know. Is that going to... yeah, okay. So I need to move this out the way and move it out the way of that as well because I'm going to need to have that clear. And then put out the fire. Okay. And then inside that is the mushroom that we are going to want to feed to the dinosaur to get it woken up. It's been tranked. Okay, and as before, we become the dinosaurs, which. Yeah, it takes me a while to get used to sometimes, because I, I kind of forget that, um, like, you, you don't ride the dinosaurs, you, you become the dinosaurs. So, yeah, they're, they're not really a match for me. And I accidentally got Sarah as well. Let's do that. And, oh, lots of, lots of blue studs comes out of that. Okay, <laughs> he really doesn't like uh, Sarah. <laughs> okay, so I can't do anything about that wall just now, but I can do something about this one. And is that just going to take me to the next section of the level? I believe so, but I would need to be another character to build that. And then I don't think I can bring the dinosaur up here, can I? Trouble's brewing. What the? 
There shouldn't be anyone else on the island. Capture them! It's a wonder that they haven't been forewarned that there's probably someone else on the island. Like, it is quite weird that, like, I can understand how Mr. Hammond would know about it. And by the way, it does seem like um, John Hammond and uh, Peter Ludlow aren't a nephew and uncle in this because... Well, it certainly doesn't seem like they are, because I, like, in this, I mean, not that they, they, they necessarily wouldn't, but Peter calls John um, Mr. Hammond instead of my uncle or something. I can't remember what, like, happens in the actual movie at that scene. I'm just going to crush other things in this section that I can with the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus was also one of my favourites growing up. I know I said a few episodes ago about the Triceratops, but Stegosaurus was also one of my favourites. Um, did I just wipe them out in one go? <laughs> I think I did. Um, okay. And that, that, the voice of Peter Ludlow here is the guy, I think, who played... Oh, wow. <laughs> it played, what's his name, the... Oh, what is his name in the... the... Lego City Undercover, the bad guy in that. I'm pretty sure is... Like, him, right? Okay, I can't do anything with that, because it needs a small character. I'm going to want to turn this off. I think I need other dinosaurs to help me as well. Can't do anything about that. Can't do anything about that. That needs a, a Dilaposaurus, is it? Okay, I need a key. And need to need to get it from somewhere can I not okay okay so it needs to it needs to get this with its tail um yeah there we go okay and then is that the the baby now yeah okay and then she's gonna go in oh wow okay And, and you guys don't hear this happening? <laughs> You're telling me you don't hear that happening? I'm guessing there's going to be a key in here. There is indeed. So all I need to do is do that and then I get a Stegosaurus result and then the stegosaurus is going to take exception to to them being attacked he's also going to kill my characters my friends as well <laughs> and is, is that another stegosaurus did that, did that appear yeah i don't know what happened then i, I didn't see another stegosaurus until until it just appeared so this Stegosaurus is going to take out that side and take out that side. And then I'm going to pull myself back and she's going to build something. And then at the other side. I don't quite know what these are. Are they traffic lights? Yeah. <laughs> One might say it'd be up and running. He's got a broken leg. Let's get in the car before Are they you hear us. Out of your mind? Slow Do you have voice. any idea what that is? On, You're nuts. Dad? 
Mommy's very angry. So that should make an interesting chapter in your book. Hang on to something! Hang on to something! Okay, so in this part, we need to be the the two characters. So we need to switch between. I need to get that, and need to go that way, go that way, get some studs, and we need to be the other character, um, who, in this case. Is is um what's his name? I'm trying to check my character list. Uh, it's it's not it's not Nick, but it's it's him. Um, Eddie, that's the one. That's the one. Okay, so I'm guessing he's going to use this to attach. This is quite a fun scene in the the movie as well. It's it's quite like it's not accurate accurate because there's some like buffing it out in this, but it's like there's some elements of it like the when the cars um, moving side to side, you you see it in it, like shortly, but it's it's quite fun. Okay, so I need to go into the car. And I'm guessing I need to I need to steer it so that it's in the middle. There we go. Okay. Concentrating as much as possible here. But I'm also like aware of the other screen up the top. But am I wanting to switch now? I think I want to switch. Yeah, okay. And then I'm oh, okay. Increase your rate of climb. Increase your rate of climb. <laughs> it's quite a funny but I like Nick. Not Nick. Well, I, I like Nick as well, but I, I like the um. What was his name? The the <laughs> the guy in the the outside that I was just being in the car. Um. Move over this way. And I am him again. Okay, so he's going to need to repair that. Hold on. Hold on. Eddie, keep forgetting that name. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of these little guys and quick as we can repair this. And then I'm going to do the same thing. It's just a rinse and repeat exercise. But try to keep it in the middle. I'm like moving the the controller. I know that that didn't look like it for a second there, but I was moving the controller back and forth to keep it in the middle. Okay, so he is called Eddie, and I need to remember that. <laughs> okay, go over this way. I don't quite know what he's meant to be doing here. Um. Like what is it is he just climbing up the top? They they made a joke about about getting pizza and uh, so that's that's why the pizza is falling in this scene. <laughs> and they're also like grabbing the phone as well. Communication equipment's been destroyed. Back We're off. stuck here, ladies and gentlemen, and stuck together thanks to you people. At least we came prepared. There's a communication center here, in the old operations building. If we can get here, we can send a radio call for the airlift.
Okay. Goodbye, Eddie. <laughs> He's a good character. I like Eddie. But, um, unlike this game, and like the, um, like the first part with the Jurassic Park, uh, there's, there's no death scene in the, in the game. But Eddie didn't survive that scene in the movie. <laughs> I don't know who those uh, first two characters were, actually. Who is Kathy Bowman? Okay, so a couple more vehicles. This, uh, this music is giving me copyright notices. Um, this and obviously there's other music but there's, there's quite a lot of well they're not copyright strikes but they're just copyright like notices but hey the the, the sacrifice i need to make <laughs> okay so we're now we're now grouped in with the other people um i'm just going to activate this section Oh no, this is the story modes. So this is how to replay the story modes. Um, I don't think we've seen one of them because they're normally like behind us and I don't normally like go and look for it. But yeah, that's how to replay one of the levels in free play mode. You would just go in and select free play. But I don't want to spoil too much. But here's where Jurassic Park was and here's the Lost World right? <laughs> or is it the other way around? Yeah, it's, it's that way around. Um, this is Jurassic Park and this is Lost World, I think. Anyway, so we don't want to replay that level, so we are going to continue on, but we are joined up with the other team, who for some reason sees us as worth keeping around, which, I mean, Fair enough, but like I wouldn't if I was them. I would just like let me die, <laughs> um, because like there's, like obviously we know that that there is benefit to them being here, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any benefit to this other group of people being here. So Nick Van Owen is able to open this up. Um, I don't know what I don't know what happened there. Um, I don't know what what the purpose of this is. I obviously need to become a one of the dinosaurs. But I think I need to do this in order to do that. I don't know, but I think I need to do this in order to do that. I don't know why I want ice cream. <laughs> there's, there's normally an arrow to show me where where I would want ice cream, but let's put it down on the ground just now. Um, he doesn't like... oh yes, okay, so I'm going to need to um, bring back this Stegosaurus so that we can we can open up the path ahead. And so he wants a bunch of stuff and yes, that's why we wanted the um, we wanted the ice cream, but we'll get it back shortly. I just want to follow this. Um, the ice cream will respawn. It's not. It's not on top of there. I was just kind of looking around to see if it was on top of there, but it's not. And they not aren't normally on top of the or where where they where you drop them. If you drop them, then they they respawn where they were. So anyway, that is that character and want to be Ian so that he can go back into where was it? Yeah, I'm not listening to you, but I am looking for where I just was. <laughs> where was I? Was I in here somewhere? No. I was I was over I was next to some rocks and I needed to open it with with Nick. 
But they over here. Where are they? That's really weird. It was definitely like near the middle because I then found that Stegosaurus. Um, am I, yeah, I'm going to want to lift somebody up here, but I don't know what happened with that. And oh, there's a purple stud, so that'll boost the, the number of studs up quite a bit. Um, can I see that cave from here? No, that's that's really genuinely quite weird. Is it over here? Yes, there it is, okay. <laughs> that was that was a bit weird. So I want to be Ian, who's hopefully not gonna be like too far away from me, yeah. <laughs> Cause like if he was too far away then it would bring the, the other characters over to me. I don't know why this logo remains. But yeah, it would have brought the other characters over to me and okay. Yeah, I, I still I still want the, the torch. Come out here and then he's going to run over and feed some ice cream to the, the dinosaurs because apparently that's healthy in this universe. Um, and we are going to want to do something else. Now these little dinosaurs are here and they're stopping me from being able to rescue um, characters and that is something that we will get the ability to do at a later point. So hold, hold on for that. Um, I don't honestly remember where the, the last bit of food is. I don't know why he always goes for, for this guy. Um, is it something to do with, well, I keep seeing the, the pads that bigger dinosaurs need to crush, but it's nothing to do with that because I can't call one of those bigger dinosaurs at the moment. Is it over, no, that's, that's where that is. Over here somewhere? Just looking around, seeing the different places. That's that's the cave that I've been into. And is it something to do with this? It might be. So he is a paleontologist, so he can build dinosaur bones. Again, it's not like you know, it's <laughs> it's not accurate to to anything. But anyway. He is going to go up there, sure, let's do that. Um, get as many studs as possible. And, oh right, okay, there we go. So wake up the Stegosaurus and we've, we've rescued one Stegosaurus. <laughs> so we need to do, we need to, I can't remember whether it's just Stegosaurus or whether it's other dinosaurs as well, but we need to rescue and bring back a bunch of them and I don't think I'm able to fit through there, which is a shame, but we need, to, we need to continue with, with the game. Sorry, I, I called it Stegosaurus, it's a Triceratops. I know this, I know this. So, <laughs> I, I like him as an actor, um, he plays, uh, this is one of the only uh, parts that I know of that he plays a Swedish person, like he is Swedish but he normally plays Russian characters, like in Armageddon and Bad Boys and, well normally, I'm saying normally like in movies that I have seen him in. But he is bothered by those characters. Isn't a proper campfire without s'mores. So we are back. Like oh, what? I turned my back for five seconds and the little pests have dragged my gun up a tree. Okay, so I need a gun character. Roland. What can what can he do? Why why is he shaking his head? Does he not have a gun? 
no, I need to return his gun to him. And so that's why it was showing a gun logo. But, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to continue with the story and get that, that, um, location thing. Uh, sorry, my, my words are failing me. Um, <laughs> right, I'm going to continue with the story. Here we go. You want to learn something new? I'll do that, that thing later on. What, what I need to do for getting that guy's gun back. I'll get that when I'm playing through the, the islands. <laughs> the operations building is right down in there. About a mile and a half from the base of these cliffs. We'll let them sleep one more hour. Oh no. What is that? So it's quite interesting in that scene that Ian says don't run because in the the first movie like that was what he did and he was he was told to stop so I, I just find that quite interesting for that that scene that character growth that you have um, getting as many of these blue studs as possible and yeah, and then, like, everyone does run, which is understandable, but it means that, like, you know, if they just stayed still, it, it may have worked. I mean, I'm saying it may have worked. <laughs> it's quite funny seeing, like, the kind of sanitization of the movie, because it's, like, quite a violent movie, and there's more death and... and the second movie than there was in the first. Uh, like, I mean, you know, it kind of makes sense because there's more characters, but... It's coming back! Back. Okay, so we are going to go into the long grass, which, I mean, quite understandably, we're told not to do, but we're going to do that in the next episode. So join us again for another episode of Let's Play LEGO Jurassic World on the PS4. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks everyone for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.